Alright, hey YouTube, I got another um, Android video for you today. If you've seen they pro on YouTube, they're advertising this Moto X thing where you can control your phone through voice and you don't need to press any buttons. Well, I found a free app on the store that does the exact same thing. It works on many different phones. I'm running an S Galaxy X2 Skyrocket still. That's why this video looks weird because I normally record everything with this camera. Anyway, um, it's a pretty cool app. It's called Utter. I'll have a link down in the description. There's something else called like Mic Plus that's supposed to do the same thing, but this seems a lot more stable. Um, it's pretty easy to set up. All you have to do is install the app, run it at least once, and then I think in order to access some of the stuff, you have to um, turn it on your accessibility. So you have to go to like, settings and. Uh, where is it? Again, you can try it without this. Accessibility, and then there'll be an option, and they'll have other information point in the list. You just click that, and then click um, on. <coughs> Okay, so here's how you start it. Um, when you first start it out, it's not always listening. And that's the default option, because I guess they don't want it, you know, like, listening in on your conversations or whatever. That's nice. Thumbs up the um, publisher. All right. Publisher. Programmer. Okay. So, spool down your notification bar, and after you ran it once, you should see it running there. Um, go ahead and click on that thing in the notification bar. And they say, start listening. Start listening. Permanent recognition initialized. All right, that turns on, so it's always listening to you. Now, there's a few things you can do. You can use any of the built-in commands for Google Now, which is kind of limited, like you can't launch apps, or you can use um, any of the program's built-in stuff. So, let's go ahead and turn off the screen, and then um, wake it up. You can say, if you want to use the built-in commands, you can wake up by saying like this: "Wake up." And then you can, um... By the way, how can I help? Launch Netflix. Really sorry, but I didn't understand that request. Launch Netflix. Do that the right command. It might be supposed to be open. Let's try that. Open Netflix. On. It was working before I didn't look at the menu. Open Netflix. Open Netflix. There you go. See, so actually, will launch the app. Uh, let's see if we can launch from the lock screen. I don't have a pattern lock on here right now. Let's just see how it goes. Yeah. Open Netflix. Maybe I have to wake it up first. Again, I just got this app as recently. By the way, how can I help? Oh, here we go. From the lock screen. All right. Let's take a look at a list of... Okay, now let's try something for Google Now. Um, the time's currently 8.09. Let's see if we can get that. Okay, Sorry, Google. but I couldn't decipher that command. Okay, Google. What time is it? Yeah, send it to Google. Okay, so, okay, Google. Just, um opens up the Google Now screen. You can't really see it very well here. So, it's pretty cool that it unlocks your phone for you, so you can have your phone on your desk near you and do all this stuff without um, ever having to touch your phone. So, let's try that again. Okay, Google. What time is it? So, very, very nice. Uh, I could probably do that same thing with the tech. Uh, you can use any of the um, commands built in or any of the Google Voice commands. So, if you've been using Google Now or Google Voice before, all that stuff's compatible. You can use it without even touching your phone. I'm just touching it to hold it. It works really great. I haven't tested a lot of stuff yet. And you can even make your own commands. So, let's say you want to do something specific in like a tasker or launch a or some launch something different that's not built in. It's completely customizable. So, it's really, really cool. I like it so far, I haven't gotten much time to play with it, but I think you guys will enjoy it too, so that's why I'm posting the video. Um, hopefully I'll have a new camera when I do my next video, because I don't like recording with webcam, it looks weird. So, alright, I'll see you all later, bye.